Hello everyone, I'm back and today I'm here to maximize your fear. So far, 2023 has been a year filled with many strange things caught on trail cams. From weird unidentified creatures to killers and to many other unexplainable phenomena. So today I decided to highlight some of the most chilling and downright horrifying creatures caught on trail cameras this year. So grab your popcorn and allow your fear to be maximized as we recap the scariest trail camera clips of 2023. Mega Compilation This clip was taken in Sequoia National Forest in California. It was from a trail camera set up by the police this summer. Police set up cameras in the woods in an attempt to find and capture some unlawful marijuana growers. However, what they caught was not what they expected. Rather than capturing the culprits, they captured this strange creature on camera. The footage was then sent to Sasquatch Chronicles by a local law enforcement officer for further investigation. And as you can see, this trail camera video is pretty unexplainable. Two massive hairy legs walk right past the trail camera, and it doesn't look like they could have belonged to a bear. As the footage continues, the camera becomes covered by leaves, most likely due to the creature moving around, or maybe it was even done on purpose. Maybe it really was a Sasquatch and it didn't want to be seen. Others speculated that these potential marijuana growers could have been dressed in certain disguises to blend into the forest around them, like a ghillie suit or something like that. However, this does not look like any ordinary disguise. So it looks like we will never know what this trail camera really captured, but maybe it's better off that way. This very strange video was taken only a few months ago. The family that experienced this reportedly lived in a very rural area, and it was very remote. They heard some commotion at their front door of their home, so they decided to open the door to see what was there, and this is what they were met with. Hello? As you can see, this goat is acting very strange, and where are its ears? For a goat to try to wander inside of a home is pretty rare behavior. Its eyes are wide and it just stares into the souls of the homeowners. People in the comments had one specific theory. They thought that this goat was a skinwalker in disguise. One commenter said, That's definitely a skinwalker. He tried to come into your house and what kind of animal would do that? They wouldn't get that close to you. So what do you guys think was causing this goat's strange behavior? Let me know in the comments. This clip was posted to TikTok on March 23rd, 2023 by a TikToker named Moto Owens. He frequently posts videos of him riding his dirt bike through the trails in the woods. He had never caught anything strange until this day. He was riding around the trail like any other day until he came across scattered bones along the path. It's unknown what these bones are from, hopefully an animal and not a human. He continues on the trail until he runs into a fallen tree blocking the path. He stops and hops off his bike and attempts to move the tree off the path. And this is when something truly terrifying happens. This is where most people would turn around. You turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Hello? As you can hear, someone or something is yelling out for help. The voice sounds human, but almost not human at the same time. Not wanting to know what this thing is, he quickly turned around and sped out of there. People in the comments had two different theories. The first being that it was a bobcat. The second theory is that it was a skinwalker trying to lure him deeper into the woods. A skinwalker is a supposed shape-shifting demon that is able to take the form of various animals attempting to blend in with wildlife. Either way, bobcat or skinwalker, he sensed that he was in danger and he did the right thing by getting the heck out of those woods. This is creepy footage out of West Virginia. It was captured on June 5th, 2022 in the middle of the night. The footage seems normal until something is seen crawling on the camera.
The trail cam appears to capture a massive spider, as you can see by the legs. It curiously crawls on the lens of the camera. It's unknown what kind of spider this is due to only being able to see its legs. But regardless, what we do know is this thing is massive. Let me know in the comments if you're afraid of spiders. This unexplainable footage was uploaded to TikTok right at the beginning of the year. The caption reads, Rake sighting caught on camera. Here is the footage. A rake is the type of cryptid that is said to resemble a hairless human with an elongated body and limbs, and it runs around on all fours. The rake is also said to be very fast and agile, with sharp claws and teeth. Researchers have speculated that the rake could be a type of genetic mutation that causes humans to go crazy and lose all of their hair. Another theory states that it could be a new species that is yet to be classified by science. The people who captured this footage said they had no idea what this thing was and they sped out of there quickly. So is the rake real or is this footage all just a hoax? This horrifying footage was captured by a YouTuber named Mad Vlad, and it was posted only nine months ago. Mad Vlad and his family had recently moved to a new home that was in a rather rural area. Everything was normal until strange occurrences began happening around their property. The first occurrence happened when they were taking their new puppy Charlie outside to use the bathroom. Mad Vlad says, We started hearing what sounded like barking noises from across the field behind our house. He says upon listening to this barking sound, he realized it didn't really sound like a dog. It almost sounded like something was mimicking a dog. He says, I didn't think nothing of it at the time. We were in good spirits and I started barking back at it. Whoa. Whoa. Bark. Five seconds later, they heard the same sound again, only it was right on their fence line. Then they heard the same noise again, but on the opposite side of the field. He says, we were puzzled. It was the exact same sound, but how could an animal move that fast? Then they started hearing this weird sound. They said once again they didn't think anything of it, that is until what happened the next day. Mad Vlad says, I went outside to smoke a cigar and something felt off. I suddenly heard the sound of breathing and I didn't know where it was coming from. I'll never forget the sound. It was a deep, slow breathing sound and it sounded like it was right on me, but I couldn't pinpoint exactly where it was. It was almost as if the sound was trying to lure me deeper out into my yard. And when I watched the security footage, I was shocked. He says, from that day on, I knew I was dealing with something paranormal. It's unknown what that thing was in the footage, along with the strange noises. But whatever it is, it's obvious that it is not good. This next image was taken by a hidden trail camera mounted to a tree deep in the woods. It takes place in Alabama, USA. There is not too much known behind this photo, but what is known that it is truly terrifying. The camera is motion censored, so whenever something moves, the camera will detect and snap a photo. This is how most picture trail cameras work, because most people's goals are to snap the pictures of wildlife as they're walking by. But no one expected a trail camera to capture anything like this. As you can see, what looks like three cloaked, shadowy figures appear to be moving around. Their movement is what caused this camera to take a picture, and it's still unknown to this day what these things were. It is completely unexplainable. Let me know what you think in the comments. This video was posted to TikTok on March 3rd, 2023 by a user named Yang Sides. Many people have lots of questions about the following footage. 
The footage shows what looks like a normal looking deer until it begins behaving very creepily. As you can see, at first the deer is normally walking along the path until it turns around and starts sprinting directly towards the person taking the video. It leaps past them and into the bushes, then it quickly runs back around and pops out right beside the cameraman. The deer appears with such speed that it almost seemed to teleport back to where the cameraman was. It pops out with its head tilted sideways just looking into the soul of the man. Then it turns and runs away down the path never to be seen again. It's truly unknown what caused this deer's strange behavior. It almost seemed to be possessed by something. Normal deer do not act like this at all. Others think that the deer could have had CWD, which is chronic wasting disease also known as zombie deer disease. It practically turns deer into living zombies by creating holes inside of their brains, which causes them to act strange and totally irrational. But this deer appears to look completely healthy, whereas zombie deer can be seen noticeably deteriorating. So could this be a skinwalker disguised as a deer? It looks like we will never truly know what was happening in this strange footage. A man was going on a road trip and he was driving through Montana. He was a cigarette smoker, so he decided to take a break from driving and smoke a cigarette on the side of the road. While he was smoking, he couldn't help but notice a strange humming sound coming from the woods. He decided to walk a little bit into the woods to try to find the sound. But he almost instantly regretted his decision. Here is the footage. Oh. <laughs> Some horrifying looking humanoid figure appears almost out of nowhere and begins chasing him. He said he got so scared that he stopped recording and ran for his life. He says that this was enough to make him never go in the woods ever again. Still to this day, no one knows what that creature was. This downright scary video was uploaded to TikTok at the end of 2021. Although it was taken in 2021, the footage has not been seen by many. A man was making a simple survival video. He was giving tips and tricks of how to survive in the woods if you get lost. But what he wasn't prepared for is what happened next. He then repositions his camera and shows where these screams are coming from. As you can see, an almost zombie-like man is yelling out for help. He is obviously a human, but his movements almost seem non-human. Almost like something is trying to mimic a human. The man who recorded this footage thinks he encountered a woodwalker. A woodwalker is practically the same as a skinwalker, except they can mimic humans, whereas skinwalkers can just mimic animals. Another theory was that this man really was lost and actually needed help. Let me know what you think in the comments. A man was out on a hike through the woods when he came across something very weird. He was walking along the path enjoying his hike until he began to hear what sounded like a baby crying in the distance. Concerned, he tried to follow the sounds and find the source of where they were coming from. After a while, he eventually located where the sound was coming from, but what he saw did not match with what he was hearing. As you can see, this is not a baby at all. It is some slimy orange creature crawling around in the brush. Now this thing may look and sound otherworldly, but the truth is not as horrifying as you think. This is actually just a giant salamander. Giant salamanders are the largest living amphibians in the world, and they are actually known to make strange whining or barking noises. Despite being terrifying looking, they pose little threat to humans. However, if they do feel threatened enough, they will bite. Also, their skin can be poisonous to the touch. So if you ever see one of these, it would just be wise to stay away. These trail cam photos were captured on October 16th, 2021. Despite being taken in 2021, they have not been seen by many, and they were just uploaded to TikTok right at the beginning of the year. The caption of this video reads, Caught on trail camera in northern Indiana on my uncle's camera. The man who we think is in the picture died many years ago on October 16th, and these photos were also taken on October 16th. 
and he's even buried on this property. As you can see, this trail camera snapped multiple photos of this alleged ghost man. The man who is said to be captured in these photos was named Julius A. Demon. He died on October 16th, 1898. He was a Sunday school principal, which explains the clothes he was wearing. So what are the odds that a trail camera snaps photos of a man who looks just like the man who died and was buried on this very property? And also the fact that it happened on the same day he died makes it even more believable. Could this somehow be a crazy coincidence? Or are these real photos of the ghost of Julius A. Demon? This footage was taken only a few days ago. A transport driver was driving on a road surrounded by brush and trees on either side. This incident happened in Valdivia in the rainforest. He saw something absolutely horrifying in the middle of the road, so he decided to take out his phone and film what was happening. As you can see, a very pale woman-like creature is seen crawling on all fours in the middle of the road, blocking the driver from going any further. The driver decided to ultimately turn around and take an alternate route to avoid this strange being. People were quick to criticize the man for not attempting to help this woman because they thought maybe she was injured or in distress. But can you blame him? If I ever came across a site like that, I would steer clear, and I would be out of there as fast as possible. On December 20th, 2022, two men by the name of David Wolf and Richard McCandlish were hiking in Hocking Hills, a state park in Ohio. They were deep in the woods doing some investigating in an area that Richard liked to call the pit, when they found something truly disturbing. Check it out. No, I said, if you see coyotes, this whole area would be all matted down from dogs. You know what I mean? There'd be hundreds of dog prints around here or coyote tracks. It ate that entire deer and left the innards. It ate the whole entire deer, bones and all. There's no bones except for that one piece of spine right there. They said they had never seen an attack like this before, and they're always in the woods, so they've seen a thing or two. They said that they think the culprit is a dogman, and they even discover a supposed dogman track right by the scene. A dogman is exactly what it sounds like, a half-dog, half-man creature that is supposed to be very vicious and is said to live deep in the woods. Richard lives in these woods, and he shows the scratch marks that have been left on his trees. He says that he personally has seen the dogman and he knows it exists. A few nights later, they return to the pit around dusk and this is what they captured. As you can hear, a deep and eerie growl is blasting through the woods. It's unknown what's making these noises, but they think it's the dogman that resides in Hocking Hills. This first disturbing video was uploaded to TikTok right at the beginning of the year. The man who took this video is an avid outdoorsman named Wyatt Pinkerton. Wyatt always seems to be outdoors, posting videos of his daily life to TikTok. Nothing strange has happened in any of his videos, however that is until this one. Check it out. He was walking through these woods as he does time to time and he came across this eerie sight. In the footage you can see a deer, but behind the deer you can see what looks like an ominous red glowing face. The deer appears to notice this strange being as well. Wyatt says, I'm not the superstitious type, but I can assure you there isn't anything in those woods normally. One theory in the comments suggested that it could have been a jack-o'-lantern. However, Wyatt doesn't think this is the case at all. He hikes there very frequently and says this area is pretty remote. So how and why would a pumpkin be placed there? He was spooked and decided not to go see what it was as he feared for his life. He made the right decision because who knows what that thing could have been. This quick clip was uploaded to YouTube only a couple weeks ago. The caption reads, Woman has a scary encounter with something screaming in the woods. The woman who captured this footage was driving home through a very secluded path in the forest. As you can see, the path looks very dark and creepy, so it's not too surprising that an encounter like this happened. Here is her footage. Did you hear that? What the f <laughs> 
Oh my God, no, F that. The woman was obviously shaken up by this and she quickly floored it through the rest of the forest. After this encounter, she says, going home late at night is not an option anymore. Some people believe that this was just a bobcat. However, most people contradicted this theory because the scream sounded human-like and demonic. Oh my God, no. So this led people to believe that it could have been a potential skinwalker trying to lure her deeper into the woods. What do you guys think could have caused this otherworldly noise? Let me know in the comments down below. This first clip was uploaded to TikTok on March 30th, 2023. It was posted by a user named Foul Mitten Outdoors. Foul Mitten Outdoors is an avid outdoorsman who posts videos of him hunting and fishing and just being out in nature. Majority of his videos follow a similar happy theme until March 30th. They're all over the damn place again tonight. Son of a... All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. This is our home. You need to leave. You leave now. The man sends a warning shot, which seems to scare off the creature. As we can all see, some strange humanoid creature with glowing eyes is seen watching him from the tree line, attempting to blend in with the surrounding vegetation. The man is obviously perplexed by what is happening, shouting at the creature to leave and to stay away. He has had a few other encounters like this that he documents on his TikTok page. The viewers and himself still have yet to figure out what these creatures are. Theories in the comments range from skinwalkers to sasquatches. One commenter made sure to say that human eyes do not illuminate with light. So this could not have been a human due to the eye shine produced. So is this a legit cryptid sighting? If so, is it possibly a Bigfoot or a skinwalker? Let me know in the comments. The photo I'm about to show you is from a group called Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. They have a YouTube channel dedicated to Bigfoot evidence. Rocky Mountain Sasquatch, also known as RMS, receives video and photo submissions and makes videos on them. This photo here was submitted to them only two months ago by a man named Steve. It was captured on the southeast tip of the Uinta Mountains of Utah. I am now going to read the submission. He says, I have a picture from my trail camera I'd like you to take a look at. I have no idea what I captured. My trail camera is motion activated and I have set it up in an area I elk hunt at. It sits at 9,300 feet elevation and it is also a 1.2 mile hike in and not near any trail. So I honestly do not think it's a person messing with me. Plus it was in February and still a lot of snow. My cam is wireless, so I get notifications as soon as it captures. I received a notification, so I looked at my app and there was nothing in the picture. I figured a bird or something flew by. Then I get another notification and there is something standing about 100 feet from my camera. I'm not sure what it is, but I've also heard wood knocking up there before. He also estimates that the creature was about 7 to 8 feet tall. He also admits to hearing strange noises often in that area. RMS says that this photo appears to be authentic and that the creature definitely looks humanoid shaped. Many people think that this is real evidence to prove the existence of Bigfoot. Others are not so sure what to make of this eerie photo. On March 27, 2023, an absolutely horrifying discovery would be made deep in the woods. A TikTok user by the name of One Money Hunter runs an account dedicated to cool findings he has discovered in the woods. He uses a metal detector and other tools to come across hidden treasures beneath the forest floor. He has had some rather interesting finds, but on this day, an interesting find would turn disturbing. As you can see by the video, he digs up some sort of ancient looking jar. He estimates that it must be well over 100 years old. Initially, it appears like a normal find. That is until he takes it out of the ground and cleans it off. The man says he has never seen anything like this before. He calls this the demon in the bottle. He thinks the inside of this bottle holds a demon or a fairy. 
and you can clearly see the figure inside. Some people in the comments speculated that this was just a toy, but the uploader debunked that, saying that it looks very realistic and gives off an eerie vibe. The small encased creature even appears to have wings. The man was too afraid to open the jar, fearing that he would release something supernatural. So does this find prove the existence of demons and fairies, or is this just some sort of toy or prop? This footage was uploaded to TikTok on March 29th, 2023 by Clips. The original video was taken by some late night explorers. A few friends decided it would be fun to go for a late night hike in the woods. At the beginning, they are seen in good spirits, laughing and having a good time. That is until they begin hearing awful blood curdling screams erupting through the forest. Check it out. I'm going first. Oh, not, go first. I'm about to take a picture of it. Catch something. Y'all ready to go back? <laughs> yeah. Their good moods suddenly changed. They were absolutely terrified. After hearing this, they decided not to go any further and to turn around entirely. These screeches are most likely coming from a huge pack of coyotes. Coyotes are known to make some absolutely terrifying sounds, and by the sounds of the footage, you can tell there is a massive coyote pack inhabiting these woods. They made the right decision by turning around, because who knows what could have happened to them if they continued even a little bit further. One commenter said, Coyotes be wild, for real for real, and I've never agreed with a comment more. A man named Wyatt was driving down a desolate road until he spotted something terrifying. He spotted something completely unexplainable and luckily his dash cam did as well. It was a dark June night in 2021. The only thing lighting his way was the beam of his own headlights. As he continued down the road, suddenly something strange seemingly flew across the road. He thought his eyes might be playing tricks on him. He thought it could have possibly been fog. But after he checked his dash cam, it only confirmed what he saw. Upon reviewing the footage captured by his dash cam, a mysterious flying shadowy figure flies by. It almost seems to resemble a dragon or a pterodactyl. Wyatt's friend was also with him this night, and he said he had never seen anything like it either. This footage is even leaving skeptics perplexed. What they saw and captured still remains a mystery, and it looks like it always will. An Australian man and a couple of his friends were at a remote river. They brought along a rope in hopes to make a makeshift rope swing. They found a perfect spot and they tied the rope around the tree, but as soon as the first person swings and jumps into the water, that's when they realized it wasn't the perfect spot at all. But it was too late. The man lands right next to a massive crocodile. The crocodile thankfully missed its bite. The man who was in shock at what just happened immediately flees and swims as fast as he can back to shore without incident. He somehow leaves this incident completely unharmed. Imagine what would have happened if the crocodile didn't miss its bite. Crocodiles usually strike with almost perfect precision, rarely missing attacks like this one. This man beat the odds and lives to tell the tale. Have you ever heard of the Minotaur? In ancient lore, the Minotaur was a beast that has the head of a bull, but the body of a human. If you have also heard of the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons, it's also very popular from that game. Even though this beast is only supposed to be a fictional being, someone captured something that looks very similar in real life. It was caught on a trail camera placed deep in the woods. The photo depicts exactly what a minotaur is said to look like. If you look closely, ram's horns are even seen on the top of its head. It almost looks like a sasquatch or gorilla, but how does it have those horns? Its arms look oddly human as well, skinnier than those of a typical gorilla. It's unclear what this thing is. Could it be a real life minotaur or is this all just a hoax? An unknown source uploaded footage taken from a trail camera, showing a mysterious creature crawling through the woods in the distance.
If you look closely, this thing looks to be human. However, this trail camera is said to be placed in a remote area. So why would any human be crawling around out there? Some people think it is a deranged human crawling around the woods for some reason. Maybe the person was on drugs. Others think this is some strange creature or possibly even a skinwalker trying to take the form of a human. Skinwalkers are shape-shifting demons that are said to be able to take the forms of various animals and even humans. However, when they try to imitate another animal, they cannot quite act exactly similar. That's why strange behaving animals are linked to skinwalkers. Maybe this skinwalker couldn't figure out how to imitate a human walking, so they decided to crawl instead. This footage was uploaded to TikTok on April 2nd, 2023. A woman was solo hiking through the woods as she did time to time. The hike was normal until she came across a weird sight. A little moss gnome right there. He's like hanging onto the branch. Oh my God, did it just move? It just moved its head, looked at me, didn't it? Oh my gosh. There's its face right there. Look at his face. She stumbled upon a mass of moss attached to a tree, but this didn't look like any ordinary moss. She calls it a moss gnome. She claims it was moving at certain times throughout the video, however, I did not see it. Let me know if you saw it move in the comments. Even if this thing isn't alive and it isn't moving, what are the odds that moss would form something so eerie looking? This thing looks exactly like a baby Bigfoot climbing a tree. After this encounter, she left the woods quickly, but she was more intrigued by this being than anything. Some people also think that this could be a baby Bigfoot somehow frozen in time. Let me know what you think in the comments. This video was taken by a kid riding his dirt bike through some woods. It was uploaded right at the start of the year. He was riding his bike until he came across a deer in the woods. Being fond of deer, he took his phone out and began recording the deer, and this is the footage he captured. So I was just out on the mini bike, and what do I see? A deer! Standing right there. <laughs> yes, the video does capture a deer, but there is something so off-putting about this deer. The way it stands as still as a statue. The way it stares at the boy. The deer somehow doesn't even really look like a deer. The look of it is just deeply disturbing. People in the comments were quick to point out that this could just be a decoy, used to lure in other deer for hunting, but others didn't think so. The deer just looks so lifelike. You can almost tell it really is a real deer. The man on the bike was not scared by the presence of this creature, but everyone online is. Also, if you look closely here, you can see the right ear move. What happened to this deer and why is it acting like this? Have you ever seen the movie Peter Pan? The movie is about fairies that fly around in the night. But did you ever think that something like that could happen in real life? Think again. This trail cam captured what looks like a fairy flying up the building and away into the sky. It appears to be quite realistic. When you slow the video down and examine its size, some people believe the fairy is actually a Luna Moth, also known as the American Moon Moth. The American Moon Moth is a rather big moth that appears to look like a fairy, but the moth in this video has an estimated wingspan of around 10 centimeters. Could this just be a Luna Moth, or could something much more strange be going on here? Let me know what you think. This video was posted to TikTok on March 25th, 2023 by a user named Joel Olson. Joel Olson posts many videos of his crazy wildlife encounters, from Komodo dragons to hippos to even massive gorillas. He comes face to face with these animals and records them extremely close. The following footage is one of his encounters with a silverback gorilla.
That's a sneaky one. <laughs> It really makes you appreciate the massive size and power of these beasts. Gorilla's strength is estimated to be about 10 times their body weight. Fully grown silverbacks are actually stronger than 20 adult humans combined. A silverback gorilla can lift 4,000 pounds on a bench press, which is equivalent to 1,810 kilograms. While a very well-trained man can only lift up to 885 pounds, which is 401.5 kilograms. So even the strongest men in the world are no match for these powerful animals. It is best to stay away from gorillas because of how dangerous they are. They have been known to be very aggressive towards humans at times. Knowing all of this information makes this footage that much cooler. I hope you all enjoyed this very rare and frightening up close footage of a silverback gorilla. This next footage is something you don't see every day. Someone decided to get a mirror and set it up in the middle of the woods. Then they mounted a trail camera nearby and let's just say the results are puzzling. Eventually a bear comes waddling by and discovers the mirror and he obviously does not seem too happy about it. The bear immediately begins attacking the mirror. We can guess the bear probably thought another bear was threatening its territory. The bear eventually rips the mirror clean off the tree, but thankfully it didn't break because then the bear could have had 7 years of bad luck. But no seriously, luckily it didn't break and hurt the bear. This is definitely a unique look into the wild behavior of these animals. It's unclear what results the people who placed the trail cam were aiming for, but I'm sure this beat their expectations. The bear obviously does not know what a mirror is and how they work due to never being exposed to them. And this is the reason for this territorial response. But whoever set up this experiment, I think I can speak for all of us when I say thank you. For some reason, people have always had a special interest in albino animals. From alligators to kangaroos and so much more, people are fascinated with albinism. Albinism is very, very rare, and that's why it is such an interesting thing to see. Although these turkeys in this footage aren't exactly albino, they are very rare. Someone captured these birds on their trail camera. These white turkeys are baffling many people and even scientists. It was determined that their white color is actually due to a condition called leucism. Leucism is a genetic mutation in birds that results in pigmentation loss in the feathers, which then turns them a light shade of white. Somehow this trail cam happened to be in the right place at the right time as they captured many of these incredibly rare birds. Catching just one singular turkey of this color is definitely a once in a lifetime catch as only one in every 100,000 turkeys will have this unique appearance. And what are the odds that someone captured not just one but a whole bunch of these birds? Definitely some of the rarest creatures ever caught by a trail camera. A woman named Kelly Garahan, a resident of Titusville, Florida, found a creature in her yard. At first she took to social media to ask the opinions of others of what it was. Everyone was commenting a bunch of crazy stuff and it started getting shared everywhere. Garahan then shared the pictures with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. She said the organization told her that the animal was a possum, but that still didn't prevent debate on social media. It's still unknown what this creature is, but to me it looks more like a lizard. Some people in the comments were saying that it's a chupacabra that was attempting to prey on their livestock. But the lizard theory sounds much more realistic. Let me know what you think it was in the comments. This recent eerie footage has been going viral. It was taken only a few weeks ago. A man named Mark was driving down the road one day when he witnessed a car accident. A white BMW had apparently lost control and swerved off the road and into a barbed wire fence. The car barreled right through the fence and ended up in a cemetery on the other side. Mark then decided to stop and approach the car to see if whoever was driving was okay. And you won't believe what he caught next. You okay? What the hell? What the f is going on here? There ain't nobody there, miss? Hello? As Mark walks towards the car, you can hear what sounds like a woman crying. When he looks closer, there's no one in or around the car. 
So if there's no one in the car, then where is the crying coming from? Viewers have speculated that Mark had encountered a skinwalker, a supposed shape-shifting demon that can take the form of humans and animals. Skinwalkers are said to act like they're in trouble to try to lure humans in. Could this be exactly what was happening here? Or could it even have been a ghost? Either way, this footage does not make any sense and it is very puzzling. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's not every day that a very famous celebrity captures a strange creature on camera, but on March 11th, 2023, that is exactly what happened. The one and only LeBron James, one of the best basketball players of all time and one of the most well-known basketball players, captured this while he was relaxing in his backyard at his house in California. An absolute beast of an animal walks by minding its own business. People were going crazy in the comments thinking that LeBron had just captured an unknown creature on camera due to its massive size and its almost mythical look. However, the truth is not as scary as you think. The creature is just an absolutely massive mountain goat. This creature looks very majestic and it is definitely not something you see every day. But what is even more rare is the fact that there are two goats in this footage. However, one is behind the camera. LeBron posted his encounter on Instagram with this caption, Can't even rehab properly without the paparazzi all in my grill. Relax, man. Just trying to get right so I can get back out there with my guys. In due time, see y'all soon. After dozens of reports of a tall human-like figure that was rumored to be Bigfoot in a woods near Winnipeg, a former canine expert was hired by wildlife experts to find and investigate. The owner strapped a camera to his dog and they began their investigation. He and his dog then ventured out deep in the woods. After hours of attempting to find the rumored humanoid, they were about to call it quits until the being was spotted. It is seen running through an open path attempting to duck and hide into the trees beside. The tracker attempted to get a closer look at it, but his dog refused to move any further as he was probably scared and confused at what he saw. Then the creature slunk into the woods, never to be seen again. Many people think that they caught a real Sasquatch on camera. Bigfoots are assumed to be very elusive, and as you can see, this thing was doing its best to run away and stay hidden. Did this dog really capture a glimpse of Bigfoot, or is this all just a hoax? A man named Hunter Peter has some pretty convincing evidence of Bigfoot. He claims that in 1953, his father came across a Bigfoot in the woods and he shot and killed it. The Bigfoot was in a swamp and they could not get the body out of the swamp, so they cut the head off. And now the son, Hunter Peter, is in possession of the supposed Bigfoot head. This footage was posted fairly recently and has not been seen by most of the public, and it is pretty disturbing. Check it out. This is only one of the specimens that I have that my father acquired in 1953. Right here is the head of a female Sasquatch. We, we do have physical proof of Bigfoot and Sasquatch. So is this a real head of a Bigfoot, or is this somehow just a prop? It looks pretty realistic to me, but I don't know. On September 6th, 2016, a Reddit post including a video that features a weird noise coming from the woods was posted. Included in the post was this text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and heard this loud and really bizarre sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted for about 15 to 20 minutes. We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from one of them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower. But can those towers make noise like this? I googled around but couldn't find anything similar. This is the video. Commenters immediately started speculating what the sound could have been. Some people suggested it could have been the sound of high winds passing through the nearby cell tower. 
The metal clashing with other metal being what created this eerie tone. But the poster of the video replied saying that there was almost no wind that night. And even on days when it was windy, he had never heard that sound. Others speculated that this could have been a skinwalker or some other strange being, emitting a strange noise attempting to lure people into the woods. To this day, it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is. This video was captured on March 12th, 2023 by a famous YouTuber named Nick Fry. Nick Fry posts videos about surviving in the wild. He lives in Australia and often films his survival challenge videos deep in the outback in the mangroves of Australia. Australia is known for their crazy and wild animals, kangaroos being the most commonly associated. However, he has not captured many kangaroos on camera. But on March 12th, not only did he capture a kangaroo on camera, but he also captured this. Oi, kangaroo's fighting. Man, look at this. They're going at it. <laughs> Run, mate. He stopped, he's looking at me. Nick begins talking about how one of the kangaroos looked, quote, very gnarly, and it had some of its ear partially ripped off. He said it looked like it could be a very aggressive kangaroo, and he was exactly right. Nick turns his camera off, and in a split second, this kangaroo attempts to sneak up behind him and attack him. Here's the footage. Oi! Wade, he's trying to get me, bro. Yeah, bro, come here. Need two people to scare him off. He's coming your way. Holy crap. Luckily, he spotted it just in time. Also, who knows what could have happened if his friend was not there to back him up. Kangaroos can be very vicious, so it's a wise decision to stay as far away from them as you can. Luckily, Nick was okay, and this encounter could have been much, much worse. A YouTube user by the name of Hunting Farmer hung a trail camera deep in the woods in spring of 2020. And by mistake, he completely forgot where he hung the camera. He came back in midsummer and could not find it, so it remained lost for a while. That is until after about 10 months, he eventually found it. And miraculously, the camera recorded the whole entire time. And this is the footage he captured. As you can see, throughout the 10 months, it caught lots of deer roaming through the woods. It also caught some birds and wild turkey. In this clip, you can see the grass has grown like crazy since the camera had been hung, proving it really had been out there for quite a while. Eventually, the camera gets covered by a plant or leaf of some sort, kind of obstructing the view. Then all of a sudden, it begins malfunctioning or was completely blocked by something, but somehow it eventually returned to normal. He then caught more deer and even a person walking by until he caught this horrifying sight. As you can see, a strange man is seen looking at the camera and holding another camera. The man appears to be wearing a hat and an Adidas hoodie. Oh wait, it's actually just the guy who owns the trail camera. My mistake. But anyways, this was definitely some very interesting footage and it shows what typically goes on deep in the woods when we're not around. A homeowner set up a trail camera in the woods behind their house to see what kind of wildlife inhabited the woods, but they never expected to catch anything like this. The footage appears to be normal at first until all of a sudden a cougar leaps out of nowhere and pounces on the deer. The horrifying attack was perfectly captured on the trail camera. The camera owners were shocked to see this footage and immediately shared it to social media. It's crazy to see what really goes on in the woods when we are not around. The woods can be a dark and scary place, not only to humans, but to animals as well. Who knows what kind of predators are watching them at all times, ready to attack. So in one of my recent videos, I showed the footage and told a story about a time that my friends and I went to a haunted cemetery and filmed it. In the cemetery is the tombstone of the weeping lady. It is said that in the late hours of night, you can hear her weeping. We encountered some strange crying noises in the distance and even had a rock thrown at us that night. However, despite this horrifying encounter, a couple of my friends and I decided to go back a couple years later, but this time we had some equipment. One of my friends has this device called a REM pod, which is pretty much just a motion sensor that detects physical touch. When you touch it, it lights up and makes a beeping noise. 
We've played around with the device a few times and it had never gone off by its own. We even let it sit for hours on end and it never went off. That is until this night. My friend was feeling brave and he decided to put the device on the weeping lady stone. He asked a couple questions and the device began to go off as if something was answering the questions. But no one was there. So I pulled out my phone and took this video. As soon as I pull my phone out, it's not gonna go. You were just doing it a second ago. Can you set it off again, please? my photo oh, oh let's go i got it bro on the weeping lady this was weird because like i said this device never went off on its own before if you're interested to see any more of my personal footage let me know in the comments a group of friends were out exploring the woods late one night they brought along a camera to take pictures they continued on deep into the woods taking pictures along the way as they continued their expedition, they captured this one specific picture that none of them could explain. They did not realize there was anything strange in the picture until after when they were examining the photos more closely. One of their photos captured a pale looking hand wrapped around a tree, as if something was grabbing onto it. Now this is scary enough to be venturing in the woods and capturing a random hand that you didn't know was there. But once they upped the brightness and zoomed in on where the hand was, it revealed something far more terrifying. If you look closely, you can also see a pale and horrifying face just peering around the tree, staring right back at the hikers. They were being stalked by some strange creature and they had no idea. As you can see in the photo, they were just trying to take an innocent picture of one of their friends with the woods in the background. Who knew they would have caught this? This terrifying and unexplainable picture is leaving people baffled to this day. The people who took these photos said that they were just going for an innocent hike and were not trying to catch anything creepy. What could this strange creature be? Could it be a skinwalker? Maybe we will never know and maybe it should stay that way because who knows what kind of unknown creatures are lurking in the darkness. This footage was posted to YouTube about a month ago by a user named Bartosz Jagielski Official. He was driving one night on a dark and desolate road until he ran into this massive beast. <laughs> As you can see, a horrifyingly huge wolf is slowly moving across the road. This thing looks very intimidating. You wouldn't want to run into one of these out in the wild. Wolves can be very dangerous, so it's best to stay away from these animals. The uploader of this video even called this the King Wolf because of its massive size and its intimidating demeanor. Did you know that moose have a layer of what is called velvet on their antlers that they shed once a year? This velvet is a layer of velvety skin that provides the moose with nutrients that helps the antlers grow. This velvet will stay on the moose's antlers the whole entire time they grow. But once the antlers reach maximum growth, this is when they shed their skin because they no longer need it. The entire process takes only about 15 minutes, which is why it is such a rare thing to catch on camera but this person was lucky enough to get a video of it. The moose rub against trees and such to remove the velvet. Once this process is over, their true antlers are revealed. Though the process might look painful for the moose, it's actually not at all. It's a completely normal process and sometimes the moose even consume the velvet that comes off. Definitely doesn't seem very appetizing. But anyways, this was definitely a very rare sight. Definitely something you don't get to see every day. This clip was recorded by a woman named Haley. She was apparently awoken in the middle of the night from missed notifications that movement was picked up on her trail camera. Puzzled, she checked the camera and this is what she saw. In the video, we see the bear attempting to break into her chicken coop in her backyard. It seems the bear was looking for a snack and heard the chickens inside. Luckily, Haley caught this just in time and yelled out of her window at the bear. The bear then ran off, never to be seen again. The coop remained safely intact and all of the chickens were alive and well. The most terrifying part of this footage is the size of the bear. This thing is humongous and let's just say I'm sure it could have eaten every single chicken inside of it if it wanted to. And potentially even the homeowner. But luckily everything worked out because there could have been a much more gruesome outcome.
In summer of 2021, footage went viral of an elk with a tire stuck around its neck. It was captured in Colorado parks. The tire had apparently been stuck on the elk for over two whole years until it was finally removed. It was first caught on camera in 2019. After being seen on camera, CPW officers tried to track down and capture the elk to finally get rid of this tire because it was causing it pain and suffering. However, the elk was very elusive. Eventually, two years later, CPW officers were able to locate and tranquilize it. Then they officially freed the elk from its tire trap and safely removed the tire from its neck. The story of how the tire even got there in the first place is not entirely known. However, the most believed theory was that it had blown off of a car and landed around the elk's neck. Talk about a trick shot. No, but in all seriousness, I think I speak for all of us when I say that we're happy the elk is now alive and well and no longer has to deal with that tiring situation. This first unexplainable clip was posted to TikTok very recently. The clip shows a security guard for a construction site telling a story, followed by some very strange footage. He tells the story of how one of the construction workers on the site encountered something weird one night while on the job. Here is the story. We got these real things right here. One of these. These things are heavy. It was a construction worker. He needed help pushing one of these. He says a guy came up to him, another worker, and he says, I got you. Just guide me and I'll push it for you. So I said, okay, cool. So he was guiding him. He kept telling him back it up, back it up, back it up. And he was pushing it. When they were done, he went around the reel to tell him thank you. And uh, he says that uh, he was gone. Keep in mind that these cable reels that are used in construction can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. So pushing them is very, very hard. Here is the security footage from that night. As you can see in the footage, absolutely no one is pushing that reel. So how is this possible? According to the worker, he had walked around to thank the man for helping him, but to his shock, the man was no longer there. It's as though he seemingly vanished into thin air. Given the story provided by the security guard, could it be that that worker encountered the spirit of a deceased ex-employee? Or could there be an explanation for this truly odd footage? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This footage was taken on Christmas Eve 2022. The footage takes place outside of a place called Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in Las Vegas. Workers were outside minding their own business when they looked up in the sky and saw something odd. I mean, we work here. I've never seen anything like this. You see that? What's above us? Like the red and the white. Did you take a picture of it? Yeah, we've been videoing it for like a half hour. It's just sitting there. It's so weird. And, it, and it, look at the our lights that are spinning around, uh -huh. are shining a reflection. Them, look right? at, yeah, look, there's a, like right there, you see that? There is a, right near the red. Right now. I see it. Right oh now. my God. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that crazy? I mean, there's something, something, I don't know. As you can see, some very strange lights are seen in the sky up above the clouds. They do not seem to be moving. The workers were talking about how they work here and they have never seen anything like it. And you can even see the club lights reflecting against the strange lights in the sky. The workers and the people who saw it still have no idea what it could be. Commenters began speculating that this was a UFO. So what do you guys think? Is this clear footage of a UFO? This unexplainable and horrifying video was captured on February 20th, 2023 in Sydney, Australia. The caption reads, A closer look. It's moving like it's liquid metal or something. And it's not a scud cloud. It looks nothing like it. Can anyone figure out what it is? Here is the strange footage. <laughs> As 
As you can see, the footage depicts a very ominous looking dark cloud floating in the air with a storm in the background. Many people believe it is just a scud cloud. A scud cloud is a type of fractus cloud at low height above ground, detached and of irregular form, found beneath various types of storm clouds. These clouds are often ragged or wispy in appearance. And this is a photo of what a normal scud cloud looks like. And here is the footage of the other cloud again. Is this really just a very odd and eerie looking scud cloud or could it be something more sinister? Your guess is as good as mine. This short video clip was taken on February 15th, 2023 at 5 a.m. Right above the Turnpike Miami Homestead Exit 5, the caption reads, Weird things floating and falling from the sky over Miami and Homestead, Florida, USA. in the middle of the road between Miami and Homestead, uh, going south towards Homestead. Many videos have been captured like this recently, as you can see by the other footage that I played earlier. Strange lights and appearances in the skies in the US seem to be happening more and more frequently. The poster of this video says, They are covering up something very shady. Whatever this is, it is not appearing all over the place. I demand answers. People had many other theories and questions in the comments. One user even said, Okay, it's not just me. I see them all the time. It started in early January for me implying that they have been seeing strange lights in the skies recently as well. What could possibly be causing all of this strange activity? This next footage is not necessarily security camera footage, however it is so unexplainable that I had to put it in this video. On January 19th, 2023, one of the weirdest videos ever was posted to TikTok and it immediately went viral. A TikTok user by the name of Dingbat Cass opened a package that she had recently ordered. Inside was a very realistic and creepy looking monkey doll. She records herself opening the package when this happens. Oh my god, I swear to god this thing just looked at me, oh my Did you catch it? Let's watch it again. Oh my As you can see, the monkey's eyes go like this and appear to look quickly at the girl. She posted this video and included the caption. Y'all, am I losing my mind or did this monkey doll just look my way when I took the paper off? But she is obviously not losing her mind because we all just saw it too. Definitely some very weird and unexplainable footage. What this mom and daughter saw while driving down a forest road late at night might be the scariest encounter of all time. This story goes way back to 2004. 16 year old Misty Tasker was a typical American teenager living in Live Oak, Florida. One Saturday evening in January, she and her mother attended a church service. Afterwards, they got into her mother's pickup truck and proceeded down the highway back home. This highway was pretty desolate. It was actually a dirt road despite being a highway, and it was just thick forest on both sides of the road. Misty, who's in the passenger seat, notices something strange on the side of the road. It looked like a little girl sitting on the side of the road. She tells her mom to stop and turn around so they can go check on this little girl, so she did. They drove slowly back down the road and spotted this little girl again. Her back was facing the road and she had her knees tucked up to her chest and was rocking back and forth. It was at this moment that they realized she was not a little girl and she was actually a young teenager. They decided to drive past her because they didn't know who she was or what she was doing, and the sight definitely was strange. And as they did this, she stayed facing away from the road and did not turn around at all. They decided to turn around again and drive past again and check on her, but she was gone this time. 
so they decided to just drive home. And before long, they had gone maybe two or three miles away from where they had seen this girl, and they were approaching a four-way intersection. As they got closer, Misty's mom let out a gasp because she looked down and on the side of the road, she saw that same girl. Once again, she has her back to the road and she's sitting down, rocking back and forth. Misty's mother pulls up to the stop sign and then just sits there. And both women are just stunned at what they're looking at. They had just seen her two to three miles down the road. It wasn't possible for her to get all the way up there. And so Misty's mother looks at her daughter and says, do you think it's a different girl? And Misty says, no, that's the same girl. So they just sat there for a minute until Misty started to panic and said to her mom, don't stop, I have a very bad feeling about this girl. I don't know what's going on, but do not stop, please. She begs and pleads, but her mom did not want to abandon this poor girl. So they drove up right next to her and her mom rolled down Misty's passenger window. Misty was so scared that she jumped down into the footwell of the car, and she plugged her ears and closed her eyes and began crying. Misty's mother, frustrated, reaches across the passenger seat and rolls the window down manually. All Misty remembers is sitting there, covering up her ears, and then she looks up at her mom, and her mom yells out to this girl, and suddenly her expression changes. She lets out a blood-curdling scream and steps on the gas and flies away. Misty jumps out of the footwell and she's looking at her mom and she's like, what's happening? What did you see? Her mom is now crying and she's looking at Misty and she just doesn't have the words to describe what she just saw. And so Misty keeps asking, mom, what did you see? And finally her mother just turned to her and said, she didn't have a face. She didn't have a face. It was just hollow when she looked at me. There was just nothing on her face. And so Misty screams and she's crying and her mom is crying and they have no idea what just happened. Once they get home, they immediately call the police. They didn't even know how to describe what just happened. So she just told the police that they had seen a girl that they think needs help. And so the police went and searched the whole area and there was no trace of anyone ever being out there. This is a first-hand account of a superintendent firefighter named Mike from Idaho. In 2004, wildland firefighters were called into the woods because of a forest fire. The fire was spreading rapidly, so Mike decided to hop on a four-wheeler and drive into the woods in an attempt to see where the fire ends. So Mike hops on his four-wheeler and flies down this ancient old-looking trail. It looks as if this trail has not been used in years. After flying down the trail for about five minutes or so, Mike runs into a bobcat. The bobcat is about to cross the trail, so Mike comes to a stop and for some reason the bobcat runs right in front of Mike, blocking his path. The bobcat stops and begins staring at him as if it's going to attack him. Mike is shocked because he knows bobcats are supposed to be elusive and nocturnal, so this was a very strange sight. Mike and the bobcat are now not moving at all and they're just staring at each other. This goes on for about 10 seconds, until the bobcat horrifyingly opens its mouth and then begins screaming like a person. Bobcats can make some pretty horrific sounds, but Mike said the sound just did not match up with what he was seeing. The bobcat then quickly stopped making its noises and it leaped off the path and then scurried up a tree really quick and perched up on a branch directly over the trail. And then the bobcat began screaming again. Mike knows that he has to go fight this fire, so he decides to put his four-wheeler into gear and fly under the tree as fast as he can, hoping that the bobcat does not fall down on top of him. And sure enough, it doesn't. Mike makes it about another half mile down the road before he sees something else that's very strange. He sees a lone cabin. It's a very small and seemingly hidden cabin. He knows he's on federal land and there aren't supposed to be any private structures here. So he quickly makes a stop to make sure no one is inside because the fire is spreading in this direction. He quickly inspects the cabin and concludes that it's abandoned because all the windows were boarded up and it just looked very old and decrepit. But when he got up close, he noticed something odd. There were some nice pieces of furniture inside, except they were all turned upside down. He didn't know what the heck he was seeing, and he was definitely spooked at this point, so he decided to just leave and focus on the fire. So he hops back on his four-wheeler and speeds down the trail once again. He turns around and heads back down the trail that he came in on. He knew that he was going to have to pass that tree again where the bobcat was. Hopefully it just wasn't there this time. However, this time when he turns the corner to where the tree was, he sees something else. He is met with a Native American woman standing in the middle of the path. The scene is straight out of a horror movie. 
She's wearing a tattered white nightgown. She's barefoot and she's standing in the exact same spot where the bobcat was. And she's just staring directly into his soul. Before he has the chance to do anything, this woman lets out a blood-curdling scream. And then she quickly turns and sprints over to the exact tree that the bobcat had gone up. And she begins viciously crawling and climbing up the tree until she reaches that same branch that the bobcat was on and she perches on it just like the bobcat. Mike has absolutely no idea what he's seeing. He's totally spooked and the only thing he can think of to do is to just speed past. So that's what he does. So he puts his four-wheeler into gear and he gasses it forward and he barrels down the trail all while keeping his eyes on this lady the whole time. He turned around after he got some distance away from her and she was just perched up on the branch like a wild animal watching him speed away. He eventually makes it back to his fellow firefighters and tells them his experience. They all wanted to go see what he was talking about but they had more important matters to attend to, fighting this fire. About a week after this incident, Mike had gone to a bar right outside of the woods near the town where this happened. He began talking to someone in the bar that turned out to live in the area and near the woods. Mike asked the local if he had ever seen any cabins or sheds in the forest. And the guy apparently chuckled and said, The only thing I know was that when I was little, I was told to stay away from a specific area because there was a story of a cabin where some psycho lady with a pet bobcat lived. She thought she was a witch and was apparently evil and estranged. I never saw it, but as kids, we were told to stay away from it. So is the story of the witch with a pet bobcat in a lone cabin true? According to Mike the firefighter, it is all too real. This next unexplainable footage was captured on October 28, 2020. It was then uploaded to YouTube the very next day on October 29th. The video was uploaded by a user named Grant Kopka, who only has three published videos. This is the only video of his that contains anything scary or paranormal, which makes the clip even more believable. The video takes place on a farm. Seen in the background is a big barn and a few ATVs, and then a cornfield in the back right. The footage shows a man, presumably Grant himself, leisurely walking through his yard near a cornfield. All of a sudden, as he's walking, you can see what looks like a white, ghostly figure fly out from the cornfield and right past the man. Many commenters were quick to point out that this could have been the man's breath. But others denied that and said how could it be his breath because he's walking forward and facing forward. Therefore his breath would be blowing forwards, not backwards. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a legitimate ghost sighting? Or was it just simply the man's breath? Let me know in the comments. So pretty much, a couple of my friends and I snuck into an abandoned and supposedly very haunted hospital. And something crazy ended up happening. But before I get into what exactly happened, you need to know the full backstory of the hospital. Molly Stark Sanatorium is a former tuberculosis hospital in Ohio. Named after the wife and general John Stark, Molly Stark was constructed under the philosophy that sunlight and fresh air were necessary for patient recovery. It officially opened on August 23rd, 1929 as one of the 25 tuberculosis hospitals in the state. By the 1950s, advances in antibiotics allowed for the treatment of tuberculosis and the need for Molly Stark to operate as a tuberculosis hospital waned. They eventually ended up closing down the hospital for good. It is now abandoned and it has been for over 40 years. There were thousands and thousands of deaths that happened in the hospital. The place was practically filled with sadness, sickness, and death because tuberculosis had no cure at the time. People were practically sent there to die slowly. And who knows what all truly happened in the walls of that building. As time went on, people began to speculate that the place is haunted. Nowadays, some lists even place this hospital at the number three spot of the most haunted places in all of Ohio. And there are plenty of terrifying stories from people who have gone in and explored. One man said he went inside and heard someone he couldn't see call out his name while he was alone in the building. There's also a man who tells the story of a brown-suited apparition skirting across the corridors of the building decades after it had been shut down. 
Another local resident speaks of the time his dog howled crazily at an invisible presence in the darkened hallway. And last but not least, another man says a chill traversed his spine when he heard a steel frame bed raked across the floor of the vacant Molly Stark Hospital building. And there are hundreds more stories that people have reported. After hearing all of the crazy stories and legends, I grew more curious. So a couple of my friends and I decided to take it upon ourselves to go and see if the Molly Stark Hospital really is haunted. You can't even see nothing in the video. We all jumped in through a window, and we ended up in a small and very dilapidated room. Are you serious, man? Yeah, can we get tuberculosis from this So once we got in, we explored the room a little bit for about 20 seconds, and I looked down and I saw these papers on the ground. The papers had dates on them from the 70s and the 80s, so I assumed that they were hospital bills. And I thought this was interesting, so I decided to take out my phone and begin recording it on Snapchat. But as soon as I pressed play on the video, something terrifying happened. Just like in one of the stories, we heard something very heavy and metal being drug across the wooden floor directly above us. We all stopped and looked around and didn't know what to do. We all decided to jump out of the window and get out of there as fast as possible. We ran off the property as quick as we could and left. Luckily, I pulled my phone out and started recording just in time because no one would have ever believed this. And I still honestly can't even believe it. Here is the clip that I caught. Nineteen nine. What was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Nineteen nine. What was that? Nineteen nine. What was that? Nineteen nine. What was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Bro, what the fuck was that? I think I caught that on camera. What the fuck was that? Cody stuck in there, bro. What? Bro, Dude, not, yeah, yeah, let's get out. Let's just get and the thing was, by the sound, you could hear that whatever was being pulled was very heavy, and it, it sounded almost like a bed frame. And the first thing we thought back to was the story about the bed frame being drug across the floor. I've had some pretty crazy paranormal experiences in my life, but that is definitely one of the craziest. And the crazy thing is, is we spoke with a park ranger afterwards, and he said that he and the other rangers patrol and go inside the building frequently, and they have never found anyone living there or hiding out inside. So that pretty much debunks the theory that it could have been a homeless person or other people inside. And some of you may think, oh, it could have been an animal or something like that that caused something to move or something fell. But I don't believe this was the case because whatever was drug across the floor had to be very heavy. No small animal or any other animal in this area could have possibly lifted something like that and drug it. And I also want to say that I swear on everything, I cross my heart and hope to die that this video is 100% true. There were four of us who went and all four of us were in the exact same room and no one else was around. So there was no way that we could have possibly set this up. Also, I would never come on here and tell you guys a fake story. Every single one of my personal stories that I have told on this channel are 100% true and they will always continue to be 100% true. We still have no way of explaining what the heck made that noise. The only conclusion that we can come up with is that it was something paranormal. Considering that this place is listed as one of the most haunted places in the state, it is not too surprising that something like this happened. But if you guys think you have any explanations or any ideas of what could have possibly caused this, let us know in the comments below because we're puzzled, because maybe there is a way to debunk this. Alright, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button's mom. Let's aim for 444 likes for another one of these trail camera videos. And if you want to get to know me more, or you want to see more of my spooky content, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Maxwell Fear, or you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Maximum Fear. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, because only 4% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed. And make sure to hit that bell so you don't miss when I upload. Alright, I hope your fear was maximized. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.